Okay, so this is part two of the how to end up, how to do DIY lashes. So if you haven't watched my first one, I'd recommend you go through that because I go through basically all the tools where I think you should start out. This one is basically me putting on the lashes and kind of going through tips and tricks. So make sure you watch that one maybe first because it will make a little bit more sense. If you decide not to, I'll tell you what's happening behind here. This is my puppy Lulu. She is eating my towel. Um, it's a hot mess back here, but my name is Dee. I am a Saint Beauty artist and a DIY lashes enthusiast. So I've been doing DIY lashes for, I wanna say a year, almost a year and a half. I started with the Falscara one and kind of have worked my way up to other brands. And even though, what are you doing? Even though I would not consider myself a pro by any means, I definitely have been doing it long enough where I feel like I'm not a beginner and hopefully I can provide some tips and tricks if you guys are starting out in the DIY world or you're still kind of struggling, hopefully this will help you. So to real quick, quick recap what I'm using today, I did pre-cleanse my lashes with the Lashify one and I don't have a brand preference. This is just what I have in my collection. So I'm not gonna go through my favorites. I'll use that for another video, but this is just what I'm using for the video today. I'm also going in, or I'm going in with the Lilac Street Originals and the 10 millimeters. My thought is I'm gonna stack them. So I already have my first band and then I'm gonna go through and double stack them. I am using the Lashify Blow Tool. This is not needed, but I do like it because it does decrease the dry time. I'm using the Lilac Street Pro or Wand, the Lilac Street Pro Glue in the black, and the Lashify Glass. So let's go ahead and get into it. So like I said, I've already pre-cleansed. This is an absolutely must first step that you have to do. It is pretty nasty. This is what I got for my lashes just from doing just leftover makeup that apparently I sucked at washing my face last night, but then also just makeup because I do have my makeup done this morning. So that is an absolute first step. If you do not pre-cleanse your lashes well, it'll break up the bond and you won't get the longevity of the lashes that you need or you want. So that is an absolute first step. The second thing is mapping out your lashes, just kind of putting them in the mat that you like. Um, the first tip that I have to do, say is be mindful of when the lash map, like you see other people do lash map, what fits for their eyes might not necessarily work for your eyes. Everybody's eyes are different. They're a little bit different this way, maybe a little bit longer, a little more round, more arched up. They're all gonna be different. So you have to find what lash map works for you. I would say use it as an inspiration, but it's more trial and not error because it's not necessarily an error, but it's trial and preference. You're gonna have to try some things to figure out what your preference is. And that preference is going to change over time or change week by week. Every week I try different lashes because sometimes I want something a little bit more natural. Sometimes I want something a little bit more glam. That's okay. But your preference is going to change. You just have to figure out what works best for you. So me personally, I like doing the 10 millimeters. I do the same across both of the eyes. That is my personal preference. I have been doing a little bit more of the 12 millimeters just to get a little bit more dramatic. But this week, I just want something very basic. So I'm going in with the Lilac Street. What I like about these, these are the originals. If you're looking for something super, super basic and natural looking, I would definitely highly recommend the Lilac Street originals. They are, they're original. I mean, they're just basic, not in a bad way, but just in a more natural way. And they have a really slight soft band, very, very light band. I'm going to stack them today. I'm going to show you guys how to stack them. I prefer stacking because to me it increases the longevity, but I also get the boldness that I want. With these, and you'll be able to see them, they're not as dark as I like. So when I double stack them, it's a little bit more baba boom. And that's the look that I'm trying to achieve. Again, it's all about personal preference. But if you want a good natural lash, the Lilac Street Originals are the way to go. Okay, so first I'm gonna go in with the Lilac Street Pro Glue. Um, I like this glue. I have tried it against some of the other brands and I personally, like it, I've been using it since it came out. I did a video on it. They had sent it to me when it first came out and I absolutely loved it. I like it because it dries really, really quickly and I like it because it does have the longevity that I need. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm flipping up my, 
my eyelid. I'm going in and I'm just gently tapping it. And it, I like this because the micro wands, because you, it's kind of like that mascara method. I'm just basically applying mascara. That's all I'm doing. I'm going in there and I, now if you have super, super long lashes, you don't necessarily wanna go all the way to the top. You can go halfway. My lashes are very short, so I go all the way to the top. And that way I can create the, the best bond. And I'm gonna put a little bit extra on these right here because I don't have a lot of hair in the inner corner. So I go in there and I try to do a little bit extra just to help with that bond. There you go. I like using like black glue because you can see the lashes. It helps me see the root of the lashes where I know where I need to put the band um, and I don't go far, too far down. And I have like non-existent eyelashes so you can see it helps me kind of map it out. So like I said, one thing that I love about this, this glue is it dries really, really quickly. I can already feel that it's getting tacky or it doesn't dry. Let me preference that. It gets tacky really, really quickly. I can already feel, hey, what are you chewing on? Hey, don't chew on the glue. That's mine. Um, but I can already feel right down here that it's getting tacky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab my lash and I usually hold it like this. You need to find what works best for your, like what is the most comfortable as far as holding the wand. And this is where the more you do it, the easier it's going to be. When you first start out, it's gonna be clunky. You're not gonna sure how to hold it. The more you do it, I promise you, the easier it will be, the less clunky it is, the less wonky it is, the more comfortable you're gonna get with it. So it's the more you do it, the better it's going to be. Now, I always start my lashes at the corner, and the reason for that is I used to do it at the end, and when I would come over here, I would end up having to double stack it because it wasn't, I had a too big of a space, hey, but I used to have to double stack it. You don't want to necessarily double stack this close to your eye because there's not going to be that much like your hair is sparse there. So if you double stack, it's just gonna put extra weight and that's where you're gonna get that flipping up or that, um, you know, it's gonna start flipping up towards the middle of the week. You're not gonna get the longevity, you're gonna have to fix it. So I always go in and let me see if I can get as close as possible. But I always go in and put it, oh no. So I have glue on my wand. And so my puppy stole my towel over here, so I'm now using my shirt. Normally, you'll have a towel or something and you can wipe it off. But I go in and I'm just putting it right there. I have hair stuck on it. There you go. Going with the next one. Now, the other thing I like to do is I like to over, overlap them just a little bit. Not so dr dr drastic, but just a slight overlap. Like that. That way there's no separation in between the lashes. You see that one got a little wonky, so I'm just gonna take it off and I'm gonna start it over. So I'm gonna try to do one more, but you can see here, I don't have a lot right here. There's just this one piece. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take the glue and I'm gonna double stack it right here. So I'm gonna overlap it a little bit more onto this other lash. That way I create that bond and... So there's the first one. And actually this isn't that bad. I might just leave it. Yeah, I might, because I do like that lash. Instead of double stacking it, I think I might just leave it like this because I do that is 
pretty natural. It's a look that I'm going for. So this is where the blow tube comes in. I like just to kind of blow it a little bit before I start fusing it. Now I do like to go in and fuse it before it's all the way dry. That way it kind of presses the glue together and make sure that there's that, that bond on it. If you wait till it's already dry, then it's not really fusing it. So you wanna do it, but just make sure that it's not super tacky. And I always blow up here because the glue kind of separates or goes into, you know, on the top of your lashes. So sometimes your wand will stick to that as well. So I'm just making sure that it's all dry. Now I love to fuse. I think not necessarily, I mean, you can definitely over fuse, but I like to make sure, go in there a couple of times and make sure that I'm really pressing them together and there's a good bond. So there's the first one. I don't know what's going on with that one. There we go. Okay. So there's that. Now I'm gonna go in with the second eye. And this is where it's really helpful to play with your wand because you're going to use a different method to apply this one. This one's a little bit easier because I'm right-handed, this is my right eye, but when I switch over here, I'm having to switch my hand, and this is where if you just kind of mimic it and play with it, it goes a lot easier. So I'm gonna go in with the other side. And you're gonna see here, I think I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on this side. You're gonna see here, this eye is shorter. This is my left eye, that's my right eye. My right eye is longer, more wider, I guess, than my left eye. So I'm actually gonna use less lashes. And I'm just taking them out so that I can have them ready. So again, the same method. I said I was gonna do this. I actually am gonna do this. And it's a little bit harder because I've got my big old nose right in the way, but same kind of technique. Start in the inner corner, put it where I need. And that's fine. Now you don't necessarily have to go all the way in like me. That's my, that's my preference. I try to go in a little bit because I don't, sometimes I feel like they're, it's gappy. And again, just gonna slightly overlap that right there. Here we go. Now you can see what I try to do is here, this eye, I try to do it as close as to close to my root as possible, or this eye, I kind of bring it up a little bit more because for whatever reason, this eye, I don't know, you can see a little bit of a difference where this, these lashes look a little bit shorter than these. What I'm gonna do is I go in, and I'm gonna fuse it, but I'm going to try to flip them up a little bit. I'm still fusing them, but I'm kind of tweaking them up just a tad. Gives the illusion that they're a little bit more curled. And this is one of the things that you might not have this issue, but just know going into it that your la your eyes are not, they're not twins, they're sisters. They're going to be slightly different. It's kind of like with your eye eyebrows. So looking at both of them, I feel like there's a little bit of space right here. So I'm gonna go in and just double stack that area. And I really like it. I'm just taking the edge of the wand. You can see there's a dollop right there. I'm just putting it exactly where I want it. I'm just gently brushing it through. Then I'm going in, taking one of them, just putting it right where. I want it to go. And I lied about double stacking because now I'm looking right here and I'm like, I could use another lash right there. So this is where it's like customizable. You look at it, you figure out what you want, what you need, 
and then you just plop the lashes there and you get you achieve the look that you want and that's what I absolutely love about them. And that look is going to change depending on what lashes you're going to. I do find that with double stacking, I do get a little bit more longevity. Now, I am not all about longevity because I, I don't like to wear them for... Let, let me rephrase that. I have usually that one's too put it down a little bit more apparently i can't talk and do this at the same time Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep putting putting stuff on. But what I was saying was, what was I saying? As far as longevity, I don't try to get the most longevity out of it because of my schedule. I like to do my lashes on the weekend because um, I have usually have a little bit more time. And then what I will do is go through the week. So I usually like to take them off generally Friday night and have Friday night, Saturday of no lashes. So just to give my la my real lashes time to breathe, and then generally I try to do them on Sunday, so I have them going into the week. So to me, I only care about getting to Friday night. If I do them on Sunday or do them on Saturday, sometimes getting to Friday night, that's all I care about, and that's what the Pro Glue does. I get them wet. Um, I'm not one of those people that in the shower I do get them wet, and maybe I'll do a video of like how I get them wet, what I do afterwards. You know how I kind of make sure that they're not getting tweaked and stuff like that so um, I'll, I'll probably do a video about that or at least do something on my Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram make sure that you do that but I'm not like I touch them I get them wet I sleep on them I don't necessarily sleep on I mean I don't squish or whatever but um, I do all the things with them but I'm not looking for super long longevity because of the way that my schedule works and I do like to have that couple days where I don't have to have them on I can let my lashes my real lashes breathe and everything's good so what I'm gonna do next is blow this a little bit more you can see they're so pretty I love these these are one of my favorites I go back and forth between the originals the lilac street originals and the midnight the midnights I don't stack because they're already super thick but I like these because they're less spiky and they're just more classic looking so I'm gonna go in and fuse this side one more time And then I'm going to go in with the glass and just gently apply it. And that's why I like this little domed shape because I'm not really brushing it through. I'm just basically setting the product on. And then I'm going to go in with my little blow tool. That's it. Those are the lashes. So pretty, so easy. So again, the biggest tip I could say to you is keep trying, don't give up, keep doing it every week or however long, it's eventually gonna get easier. You're gonna figure out what works for your eyes and don't be afraid to try different things. Try different lashes, map them up differently because you're, the more that you try, the closer you're gonna get to what your preference is. And again, your preference is gonna change depending on your person not personality, depending on your mood, depending on what you're looking for for that week or whatever. But um, like these, absolutely love them. But next week, I probably want something a little bit more va va voom in your face. Um, and that's okay. And that's what I absolutely love about these DIY lashes is they are 100% customizable. You can mix different, like I could take the originals and mix it with the prisms for the Lilac Street. I can mix it with Lashify stuff. I can do all this stuff. It's definitely interchangeable. It's customizable. So have fun with it. Find the lash look that you love and change it up and figure out what you like and what works for you. But the biggest tip is keep trying. Don't give up. Don't get frustrated because it will get easier. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Like I said, I'll put part one down in case you want to know a little bit more behind the scenes of what I recommend as far as tools. I will be doing a video 
on what I do of how I clean my lashes, how I get them wet, what I do after that to keep the longevity. I'm also gonna be doing an upcoming video of the Lashify versus the Lilac Street Pro Glue. So we'll do a wear test to see which one is better versus the price because Lashify is a little bit more expensive. Um, I, I already did the Lilac Street Falscara one. I'll link that down below in case you're interested in seeing that. And then um, I will also do, what was the other one that I was gonna do? I don't know. Well, that's a lash video. So make sure that you subscribe so that you're in the loop. Let me know if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I will help you out in whatever way I can. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Until next time, bye.